What's up guys, this is Heat King here, bringing you some Resident Evil 4 Remake news. Now, before I get started, of course, remember to like and subscribe, please do. And yeah, moving on. So, the game is about to come out, well, next week. There's a few days left, essentially. And the reviews for the game are out now, and it's stellar. A lot of 10 out of 10 reviews so yeah capcom seem to have done it again i wouldn't be surprised if this ends up being game of the year again but uh we'll see we'll see for now this video is about talking about the changes and cuts to the game thanks to some leaks or early sales of the game that have been around on the internet for uh, at least a good week now uh, we got a good idea of what's been cut from the final version and what's been intact. So, yeah, let's go through that very quickly. So, for starters, the village and the castle areas are relatively mostly the same, but expanded and maybe changed around a little bit. So a lot of redesigns here and there. The biggest changes appear to be on the island now. Also to note, there are 16 chapters in total. Chapters 1 to 6 are the village, chapters 7 to 12 are the castle, and chapters 13 to 16 are the island. So yeah, you can already see that there's a bit of a shortage there when it comes to, when, it, when you compare the island to the other environments. Now, in terms of cut content, of course, Ada's assignment and separate ways are no longer in the main base game. Now, cutting Ada's assignment makes a lot of sense because it, it was never really canon. It was more of a side uh, quest, spin-off, alternative title that they implemented in there. So, you know, they, it, it makes sense to get rid of that. Separate Ways, on the other hand, uh, is a bit of a sad uh, exclusion, but uh, there are rumors that it is going to appear, that we are going to get it. Now, apparently, Dust Gollum has said that Separate Ways is down the line DLC. It'll be longer and more fleshed out than the original Separate Ways, which I can believe, especially if the rumours are true that M2 are working on this. So this is going to be a sort of mini-fledged game, I guess. The question now comes down to whether or not this is going to be paid DLC in a few months' time or by the end of the year, or if this is going to be included in a gold edition or perhaps a separate release, similar to Infamous First Slide, Uncharted Lost Legacy, Wolfenstein the Old Blood, etc, etc. Other things cut from the game include Flame Grenades, the incendiary Grenades, if you remember, the Red Grenades. Those are no longer in the game and have been replaced by something called Heavy Grenades now. So at least, they, at least they've been replaced, but yeah, kind of a shame to see those go. Now, in terms of actual... Enemies and environments, at least that we know for certain that are gone. The second Vertigo disappears, at least at some point during the castle section of the game. If you guys remember, uh, in the original Resident Evil 4, you fight Salazar at the end and he combines with the second Vertigo and basically becomes the giant boss that you fight. That's no longer the case here, the second Vertigo disappears. Now apparently Salazar tells it to go after Ada... And we don't see that uh, attack or interaction. So clearly that is a setup potentially for her portion of the campaign that we will later get in separate ways. Other environments, like I said, is it's mostly the island that's been changed up. So yes, the throne room and the laser room are now cut. Those are gone. There's no throne room in there. And there's no laser room, sadly, so it makes sense. You know, quick time events have been cut from this game, so it makes sense they would remove one of the bigger quick time event uh, areas in this, which is a shame. It's it's sad to see that go, but alas, in terms of enemies, one of the one of the enemies or one of the main ones cut from the game, confusingly, is you free, or as I imagine most people would remember it as it. So, this enemy appears in the original island segment of the game just before you fight uh, Krauser for the second and proper time. And this was one of the more horror uh, parts of the game as well. You, you get chased by it in these large containers and you have to open the doors and escape from it before the containers drop down into like a dark abyss. 
and then that eventually leads into the boss fight and uh it's got like two forms that goes through like two phases during that fight so i assumed this would be a boss fight that would be kept in so it's very surprising that it's been cut from the final version um the uh the 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 suspicion is that these these cut areas from the island and you free may end up actually being part of ada's campaign which i can see potentially happening considering that ada uses the hook shot and does a lot of acrobatic and grappling so maybe this is something they're going to use for her portion of the game when it when we get to it if we get to it if we ever get it uh, which i wouldn't mind it, it, it would mean that separate ways is getting a big expansion essentially and it's not just going to be a bit by bit remake the way uh re4 remake at the moment seems to be uh, other areas or rooms apparently that have been cut include the uh, lava dragon room. It's the room where you uh, go with Leon in the castle to get like a, a key item, and there's uh, these dragon statues that come down, breathing fire at you. And it's uh, you know the entire floor and area is just basically a, a giant lava room. So apparently that's been cut from the game. Again, not a big loss. Uh, most of the other areas seem to be intact. Uh, no word yet whether the uh, turret room is still in there. In Speaking of turrets, in terms of actual turrets or gun enemies, uh, we only had one, which was JJ. And apparently JJ is cut from the game too, along with the body armor uh, Las Plagas enemies from the island segment. Apparently they, they and JJ have now been combined into a new enemy. So there is a gun enemy in this, uh, but it's just, it's not JJ anymore. Unless unless they're going to call it JJ, but his look just seems similar to the others, maybe. We'll have to wait and see. Huh. So that's that in terms of uh, big cut moments. Everything else seems to have been expanded. Even Salazar's boss fight is now different compared to the original. Uh, other cuts, of course, uh, include certain cutscenes that are redone now. For example, uh, the Mendes uh, boss fight when it begins. Uh, in the original, you see the transformation in its gory fashion. Here, the transformation happens off-screen now. So there's a lot of, uh, I feel like there's a lot of off-screen moments as such, which is which is a big disappointment to to go through that. Uh, sadly. Now, uh, in terms of, uh, like, let's see, in terms of uh, changes to the continuity, okay, RE4, I think at this point, uh, the remake for RE4 pretty much, I believe, confirms that this is its own sort of alternative reality of the series. This game does not make Resident Evil 4, the original, obsolete. Uh, if anything, this is more of a sequel to the events of RE2 Remake and RE3 Remake. Uh, because, again, it's following its own continuity. The reason I say this is because uh, Operation Javier is described somewhat differently in this version of the game. When you are when you first encounter Krauser, he mentions Operation Javier, and then he goes a bit more into detail with it, as does Leon, in terms of that Krauser's entire unit was wiped out during that operation. Now, as we know, there was no other unit in, in the canon version that we know of. It was Leon and Krauser going in together to find out what was going on and getting involved. There was no other unit getting sent in that was killed. Uh, from the way it sounds when, when Krauser's given his speech, uh, it almost sounds as if uh, Leon wasn't even there. Like this was something that Krauser went through and the event basically changed them. And yeah, so yeah, it seems Operation Heavier in this continuity is very different. And it makes me wonder whether or not this is something that Capcom is going to expand upon in the future, or if this is just their way of, you know, putting it on the under the rug, essentially. Like this is the biggest, you know, sort of like hint we're going to get to it, like an Easter egg, if you will. It's a nice, it's a nice reference, but the change of continuity to it is a bit weird, and it makes me wonder what else they're changing because there is one big significant change they actually do in this game in terms of continuity now in terms of separate ways as i said it's not included but a lot of scenes from separate ways are in fact in the main story game so a lot of some of the scenes you get with ada are in fact uh, recreations of scenes from the original separate ways uh, that help to expand her side of the story in the main game essentially well, one of these scenes of course is the very ending of the game the uh, end credit scenes which is pretty much a direct setup to RE5 Remake, apparently. Uh, basically, we see Wesker. Now, if you guys remember a year ago, uh, last year, or maybe perhaps the year before that, 
there was a leak apparently by the original uh, RE5 voice actor DC Douglas where we got a look at a concept art for what Wesker will look like in the RE4 remake. Now a lot of people said that this was for something else and that this wasn't for RE4 remake. Well funny enough um, looking at uh, the model for Albert Wesker in RE4 remake it pretty much looks 90% the same except for the damaged wounded arm that Wesker had in the concept art that's now gone but yeah it looks pretty much similar so yeah that leak was definitely legit and it most likely resulted in DC Douglas being uh, cast aside for someone new the new voice actor is well let's just put it this way we have to get used to it we have to get used to a lot of the voice actors in this game I don't think any of them are bad in fact I think most of them are pretty decent Obviously, Krauser's voice, I wish, was similar to the old one, but it is what it is, so, you know. But yes, Albert Wesker does appear at the end of the game, and apparently Ada is, obviously, like in the original, working for him. But in this case, in this version, in terms of the setup, we see that he's in his room, in that big monitor room, and we see images of uh, the uh, garden, the secret flower garden from RE5, and we even see an image of Excella. And so, yes, this is an obvious setup to RE5, and the dialogue that Wesker speaks of in terms of wanting the Amber and using it to bring about billions of deaths is pretty much uh, Wesker's goal in RE5. Uh, the reason this is a big change in uh, continuity is that at this point in the original RE4, Wesker was not looking to cause a giant genocide. Uh, he wouldn't be doing that until after he ended up, you know, reuniting with Spencer and finding out the truth about the Wesker Children program, which then, you know, the truth basically drove him insane and set him on course to basically steal Spencer's goals for himself in order to have some form of legacy, since he found out that he was basically, you know, from very from the day one since he was born, he was nothing but a guinea pig, essentially. So, yes, in this version now, Wesker is hell-bent on causing lots and lots of death which Ada doesn't like, which is why by the end of this game, she then decides to threaten the helicopter pilot to turn the chopper around, and she leaves, which is which is somewhat accurate to the original version of RE4, but it's different again, because in the original RE4, Ada betrays Wesker to join the organization. In this uh, case, she betrays Wesker in order to stop him from getting his hands on the sample or the amber now but he will eventually get his hands on it thanks to Irvin apparently as we learn in Lost in Nightmares so yes a uh, very very different set of circumstances but it also clarifies that Ada isn't a complete bad guy she does realize that Wesker is is dangerous and is you know and realizing what his true goals are she decides to course correct so yes this is a big change but it, uh, at the same time, it makes me wonder what they're going to do with Wesker's character. For a lot of people, I imagine they have not played Resident Evil 1. So Wesker's character sort of showing up in this is going to be a bit of a weird uh, element uh, and setup. So at this point, it does make me wonder whether or not Capcom is actually going to sit down to do an RE Engine style RE1 remake. And of course, Cold Veronica, because before they do RE5, we need a Cold Veronica and in terms of exploring Wesker and his relationship with Chris, we do need to set up RE1 as well. So I think at this point, we need to accept the fact and possibility as well in terms of letting Capcom know that we need to get a remake of RE1 again done in the RE engine style and to fit the new continuity and of course get in a reimagining of Cold Veronica as well before we get RE5. Otherwise... The story is going to feel very, very weird in terms of going from this to that. Um, it's going to feel very un uneven, if that makes sense. It's going to be weird. But yeah, these are the biggest changes to, to the game in terms of cuts and changes to the story. Um, again, there is setup as well. There is a lot of build-up and setup. Like I said, Krauser is introduced early on in the game, in the very intro, in fact. And then we sort of build up to his appearance before he does show up in the castle, apparently now. So the first fight with Krauser takes place in the castle now. Uh, we do see him kidnap, kidnap sorry, Ashley from the castle and take her to the island now. So yeah, there's a lot of changes here that deepen the the, the story a bit more compared to the original. Uh, Lewis is developed 
a lot more than the original. Um, the self for the cure, the cure where which randomly appeared in the original game, is now set up in this game now and ties in a bit more into Lewis and his role. So this is great. These are great changes, and it just uh, it just further uh, sort of showcases how much better time uh, and focus was put into making sure that RE4 remake was done right compared to RE2 and RE3 which were the bare minimum of what they should have done with it, um, which is a shame. Uh, it, it's, a, it's a case of those games having to die in order for RE4 Remake to fly. And I'm hoping that with the amount of care that's been put into this, that now Capcom will sit down and realise that they need to put the same level of care into other remakes going forward. So fingers crossed. But yeah, these are a lot of the changes. These are etc, etc, if you will. So yeah, um, yeah. Yeah, uh, I'm looking forward to playing this. I can't wait to get my hands on it. Obviously, some of the cuts are a bit sad, but they're not as massive or as superficial as the cuts in RE2 and especially RE3 were. This is definitely a game that uh, the developers sat down and really fought hard about in terms of how they want to do it and how they want to pace it and what how they want to structure it and what they necessarily want to get rid of. And hopefully it's just a simple case of they got rid of these and it's going to be in eight separate ways. Before I leave, guys, uh, uh, I, I just remembered another thing that's been cut from the game is the uh, cable cards from the village. Those are gone now. They're in the background in the main game, but you do not get to ride them. So again, this makes me think this is something that's properly going to be in Ada's separate ways. Uh, and the truck is gone as well. The uh, truck that tries to run you over in the village, that's gone as well. So that's another change there. Uh, but yeah, um, uh, from what I understand, anything that's been cut is replaced by something else or expanded or redesigned in a good way. So again, this isn't like, this isn't a big thing like like the others. Like, uh, like this is pretty much 90% a remake and then 10% of it is new content, sort of. So yeah, it's exciting. It's, I'm looking forward to this and I can wait. It seems that Capcom have done justice with this remake uh, and they've justified why they should remake RE4 in the first place. So fingers crossed to see what they do next. Fingers crossed. Anyway, guys, this is that. This is my video for this. I hope you liked it. Uh, and as always, remember to like and subscribe and I shall see you when I shall see you. Um, take care and bye.